Okay, folks, listen, we back at it again with another budget friendly meals. And listen, if you go to my page, look under the playlist, you'll find one that says budget friendly meals, right? Super easy to make, cheap on the pocket, feeds your family four to six. So let's get it. Okay, folks. Now look, I'm gonna go ahead and scan over some of these uh, ingredients right here, as you guys can see. Not a whole lot, but I want to I want you guys to pay attention right here. Look, I'm gonna be using black beans, and look, they come in a low sodium version too. Right? We need two cans, so those are the regular. As you can see, look, we got our spices in the back. Right? We got our onions. We're gonna be doing it in the Dutch oven. And then look, look right here. We're gonna be using the small elbow macaroni. Okay, folks, so listen, if I hadn't said already, listen, this is nothing but a one pot meal, right? Extremely easy and again, it's budget friendly, right? So now I'm gonna take my infused olive oil. You guys have regular olive oil, that works too. I put in just about a tablespoon in here and I wanna talk about my ground beef. Listen, because I don't want it to be oily or have to do no kind of like drain or anything like that, I'm using a 93.7 blend, right? So I put a medium and high heat under the bottom of here. I'm gonna go ahead and take my ground beef. We're gonna drop this in. Then you want to get yourself like a little meat masher. You know what I mean? This right here will crumble it up good. This is either made out of like a neoprene type of uh, substance or uh, like a little plastic, right? But it won't scratch up the bottom of your porcelain on your Dutch oven, right? So I'm just breaking this up. What we want to do is we want to brown this, right? Now I'm going to go ahead and add my onions now because we want to cook them down just a little bit. I'll just give it a little stir with this here. This is no problem. It's still gonna render a little fat even though the, the beef content is the content is 93.7, right? So the, the fat percentage of this is 7%. Now I'm getting ready to bring a happy smile to my face and I'm gonna load up my garlic press. And then we're gonna go ahead and just get this going. Now I'll just continue to work this in and let's cook this. What, we, what we're looking to do right now is just brown the meat. Once I get it almost brown, then we're gonna come with our blend of spices. Now you guys can see a lot of my pink has went away. You know what I mean? We're still gonna continue to cook it, right? But this is a good time that you can go ahead and add your, you know, your spices, right? Getting ready to add myself a couple of pinches of salt just to wake up the flavor. Now we'll go ahead and add in our tomatoes. No drain, just add them in. Okay, so after we put in our diced tomatoes, right? Then we want to add in, you know, our sauce, right? So just add them. You want to have the right tool for the job. I don't want to add no water to the can to get it all out. Just use a small spatula to get everything, right? So you want to add all three of your cans. Then you want to add in your black beans. I've already drained these. I didn't want to do the mash and drain. You know, I just hold them upside down once I take remove the top, put the top back on there and just let whatever liquid can, you know, drain out. I don't want to have no mushy beans, right? Mixing this up, you guys can look right there. Ah, oh, yeah, this is what I like. To be honest with you, sometimes I like to take another onion, even though I did a whole onion. That was like a medium-sized onion and diced it down. I like to take another one and just like, uh, make it like eighth. Instead of like quarter, we cut it down a little bit more. I like to have the onion in there for myself, right? Now, I'm getting ready to come with my chicken broth. All right, and we're gonna add this in here. Now you wanna keep it under that medium high heat, right? You know, the reason being, because we gotta get this up to a, a simmer. And don't worry about it, it look like it got a lot of liquid in there, because we are gonna add everything to the pot. We, you notice I didn't do nothing to the macaroni elbows, right? So just stay with me, folks. But what I wanna do is get this back up to a, you know, to a good simmer. So let me look. We still at that medium high. Let's go. Okay, so if you look at it right now, it's starting to simmer, right? So now you wanna go ahead, and this is what's cool about this. We didn't have to make nothing al dente in another pot. When I say one pot, this is true to the game, right? So we'll just add our macaroni noodles in. And listen, we're just gonna give this a stir. 
Now, number one thing you guys are gonna say is like, how long? I'm gonna say it takes about 10 minutes, but what we wanna do is we want these noodles to become al dente inside of this. Now just think, all of the flavor and everything is gonna be absorbed in your macaroni, and this right here is gonna be fire. It's gonna absorb a lot of this liquid in here, but this right here is real flavor. So I'm gonna say about 10 minutes, then we wanna check it. You guys know what al dente is by now, and if you don't know, you just want it to be, it's almost like a par cook. You know what I mean? You want it to be almost there, but not quite there. You know why? Because when we turn it off, it's gonna continue to cook. So I'm gonna check mine at 10 minutes at a medium high heat, folks. Make sure it simmers the whole continue, the whole complete time. I should have said this too. I like to stir mine, make sure nothing burns under the bottom. I love having these bamboo or wooden, you know, utensils right here with the square edge that allows me to run this right off the bottom. You guys can feel if it's doing anything. But this right here is right. Now, I'm gonna take me a spoon. See if I can capture this. I just turned my fire off. I just wanna let you know when I say al dente, but you guys aren't gonna be able to see how much pressure I put on this. But if I take it like this, oh yeah, this is right. You know what I mean? Uh, so my noodles is right, right? And then just for good measure, let's do it like this. It's spot on, folks. Now, this is all off, right? Now I'm gonna take my cheese, and look, I use a Mexican blend. You know what I mean? Love that Mexican blend, right? And then what you want to do is you want to let the heat, the residual heat, just make it mix. Now, if you guys want to make it a little bit fuller, a little bit more creamy or something like that, you can add yourself some sour cream to it, you know? I like to reserve a little bit more. I have some more, so I'm going to put that on top. But look at this right here. Look at how I, ooh, my goodness. I think it'll take a little bit more. But look at that. You see that right there? Mm -hmm. And that there, folks, is a budget-friendly meal, Chili Mac. Okay, folks, after looking at this, I can tell you right now, it's already fire. I done already ate it, but I'll eat some, you know, on here for you guys. Look, don't forget, I told you guys can add some uh, sour cream to it too. You know what I mean? And uh, listen, I would probably do that if I left the cayenne pepper, you know what I mean? In case you guys got some kids, because they do have a little bit of on the back end and you can feel the heat after. But while you're eating it, it's pretty good to me. You know what I mean? Uh, but if you want to, you can just, you know, leave that out. Hey, I'm not finna over talking no more. Check it out. Cheers. Mm. 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 This right here is right. Mm. This right here is right. Like I said, you can omit the, uh, the cayenne pepper, you know what I mean? Uh, but try it, just put a little bit, maybe go with a half a teaspoon, see how you like it, right? Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, this right here will feed eight people, you know what I mean? Uh, six people, if everybody got them big hearty bowls. A lot of times you gotta see when I plate, I'm using bigger bowls, but this right here, look at this, I'll hold it next to me so you guys can see, it's a nice hearty bowl, right? So only thing missing is like a dollop of uh, sour cream and a cornbread muffin. Hmm. Now, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And somebody call a Hamburger Helper and tell them AB's back. I'm out. Peace.